Hello. David Bradley here. So, when last we met, we had a disk drive smoke. And, um, let's see, what did we do? We stole the, stole the fuse out of it to make our test drive work. But the circuit board itself definitely has troubles because when I put this circuit board into this other drive, it reacted similarly. It didn't smoke. But when I turned on the power, the power light came on and then the actual drive activity light just flickered ever so gently. <coughs> And after taking out the chips, um, sure enough, there was a bad 6522 chip. But it did not, in itself, produce the same symptoms. The drive would not respond, but the lights came on when you turn. It sounded fine when you powered it up, it just wouldn't respond. So there is still something wrong with this. What? I am not sure. But <coughs> I'm, there's not many places to write on these. So I'm going to write on the black place here with a sharpie to remind me that there was smoke. I'm not tempted to try and test this much more at this time. I will put it over here. I shall. <coughs> I was hopeful that we'd found a circuit board that we could use in this drive. But that is not the case. We were able to harvest some chips as well that we know now are working as well there were two chips out of that drive that were in sockets that are not normally in sockets three two five five seven two dash zero one and then this well something else it doesn't say moss on it says japan HM6116P-3. Anyway, these we were not able to test. I will set them by themselves. <coughs> I will. So, here we have a 1541. That works. Except the board does not belong on this one. This is our test board. And this drive, I mean, the, the mechanism is fine, but it had a board on it that also was defective. So, off comes the connectors ever so gently. for where it belongs. This drive goes back to the pile. And here we are. So, for those of you who were here, you may remember Big 20, with what I am pretty sure is a 
bit 20 keyboard with the original pet mechanism for keys, which is rare. <coughs> but I am not sure. Oh, okay. Little tiny screws. Um, 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 well, let me see. Okay. The soldering iron is cool. So this is the uh, RF shield made in Taiwan from the VIC-20. So I'm going to put all the tiny little screws from the, screw from the keyboard. Now, this, this keyboard in itself, I have not decided, well first of all, I'm pretty sure it's dirty inside, because every key except for one, oh, no two, the shift lock key worked, would not register. So, I am thinking some of that corrosion, of which is... Well, you really can't see it. They just get dirty. It has made this keyboard not want to work. Now, do I know for sure that this is what I think it is? And that is a pet equivalent keyboard, or with the innards of a pet. No, I don't. But as I take more screws out, I should be able to maybe have a little peek. What I should see... No, I cannot. Sorry. The shift lock is there. I think just three to go. There are an awful lot of tiny screws on these screw keyboards. So in just a moment, after the last screw, I should know for sure that I have what I think I have. I lift up. Oh yes, I can tell just from peeking here, the mechanism is indeed the same as the pet. And as I mentioned before, there was a fellow who wrote to me, and he has been searching the world for an F1 key for a machine just like this. <coughs> but now I have to decide, do I want to take this apart and not put it back together? And as I have my soldering iron, I'm going to gently heat up the connectors on the shift lock key to get the wires off. There's a white, sorry, there's a black wire and a red wire. And they just need a touch. Just a gentle touch. Hello, gentle touch. Where's the soldering iron? Gentle touch. There's one. Gentle touch. Just soften it. There we go. So now, this is probably a moment to share. So here we have the VIC-20 keyboard, 
and in a moment I will lift off and I'll show you how it is that you can tell. So here it is, the bottom of the keyboard. I have disconnected the two wires. They can sit over there. And when we pick this off, you will see what we have here. And what we have are all these, to me, they almost look like R2-D2. I don't know why I say that, but they do. These little itty bitty things, they are on the bottom of all the keys. They are the same as the mechanism that was in the PET, which makes them rare. I don't know how rare. There's the shift lock key, having been unsoldered. And, although none of these look dirty, they're all, um, except for the pound key and the shift lock key that really doesn't have such a pad, um, they all need to be cleaned. So there. That is the insides of a VIC-20 with PET, the PET keyboard mechanism. So this VIC-20 could be used to rescue the innards of a PET keyboard or another VIC-20 of similar vintage. So it is time to clean. So, as always, we take our alcohol and touch each and every pad. There are many, sixty some. And in fact, I am seeing that the Q-tip is getting dirty. Which is not surprising. Remember, this keyboard was assembled maybe 35 or 36 years ago. So there. Now, is that all we're going to do? We're going to do that again. And I think we will video it. Always put the lid back on the alcohol. Okay. So. Here we are, in the Big 20, and I'm going to touch with this Q-tip every single pad of every single key. That is not all that we must do.
because also about where we are right now, we will see the circuit board. And the connectors on the circuit board, which are what these little rubber pads actually hit, also can become dirty. And it's not like horrible dirt. Well, some people smoke dirt on their machines. It's just, you know, the way it goes. And there is the Q-tip, and definitely there is stuff on it. So, we're going to stop this for a moment. And <coughs> we're going to get another Q-tip. And more alcohol. Now we're going to take the alcohol Q-tip and gently go over all of the contacts on the board. Every single one. And it's funny how they look, before I touch them, they look kind of dull. And after I run this over them, they seem a little shinier. I'm not sure if that shows up well. But anyway, so that's the procedure with a Q-tip. Just basically put the alcohol in, or on it. Rub over them. Do they look shinier? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to continue with this. So I suppose that for the moment, as I've not done anything to really make this impossible. Is I think I will painstakingly put all the screws back in. and put this keyboard back together and see that in fact on the original old, old, old Vic 20 that it does now work. I have done this many, many times with pet computers. Many, many, many times. Perhaps one of the reasons they switched away from this kind of connector is because they have a tendency to get dirty and they not work well. I think they used to call it that the keyboard would bounce and that you'd have to hit it harder. Okay, so making sure that the little wires 
for the shift lock key do not get stuck inside. I think it is time to put the screws back in. And here they are. <coughs> I don't think there's any order. Oh, boy, these are tiny. I don't think there's any order in that they, that they should go in. Just that they all should go in. And I generally, I do them up snug, but I don't reef on them. And there are so many, and it's funny, they don't all work the same. I did not notice that as I was taking them out. Maybe. Oh boy. Maybe I should have. Maybe it doesn't matter. Some of them definitely look longer. But maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's just what they had on hand. Ugh. There are so many, how many, how many, how many? It's funny, I remember hearing about this procedure years ago at a teapug meeting. And I could not imagine ever having the patience to do this. But When you have a machine that you want to work again, and all it takes is a careful hand on a screwdriver. It's funny how you can learn patience. Oh. more than half to. So anyway, I believe the first person I ever heard talking about this procedure was a fellow who was in T-Bug. He came to us from out west somewhere and his name was Mike Donegan. An interesting fellow he was, probably still is. Because I find with most people, if they are interesting 30 years ago, they only get more so. there. I think, I'm assuming I've not lost any, three to go. And then, I'm not sure if I will, uh, oh, the hands, they cramp. These are so tiny. I am not sure if I will resolder 
the shift lock key at this moment. I think I just want to assure myself that the keyboard is working. Style keyboard from a Vic 20. This Vic 20. And then I will find the power connector, of which we still have issues. And then I will disconnect the Commodore 64 from the monitor. Plug in the monitor and right here is a moment in time. So if all has gone well. This keyboard that only, only, only worked with the pound key should now work perfectly. So I'm going to hit the power. And there it is. Commodore CBM Basic version 2. 3583 by 3. So I will tentatively tap the space bar. that work. They seem to work. Well, that's not great either. Oh my. <coughs> um. Well, let's see. I'll turn that back on. I'll try the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
B E H J K M U. Let's try the arrow key and the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. We have a four. We'll do the some of the character keys, plus, minus, pound key, yay, pound key. Try the delete key. Oh, the delete key seems to work. Hard to tell the function keys, they don't do anything. Turn is not restore, who knows? The cursor keys, no. The space bar, no. Oh, oh. Hmm. Maybe the restore key is working. I hit. Run stop restore. Oh yeah, it clears the screen. Oh dear. Well. Well, when I hit keys enough, ah. so if I could type, I would type in that could have gone better. Well, that is strange. Hmm. I will check that the screws are all snug. I do not want to overdo it. But I cannot imagine. And the way things are failing, it doesn't seem to be anything to do. Oh, that one's kind of loose. With things not being secure. But, who knows, maybe I hurried too much to get that done. Sort of like tightening the wheel in a car, little by little, and check the others. All right. We'll try. Well, let's 
just say that could have gone better. But I'm still pleased. I mean, the Big 20 works. Um, hmm. I don't suppose this has anything to do with the fact that I did not connect this key. So it can't. It cannot. No, it can't. Well, you know what? We will explore this at another time. Thank you for coming. I'm going to ponder. Bye for now.